So we have another question from one of our top fans. This time it's Brandon. And Brandon asks, if you could eliminate an entire console library of games from existence, which one would it be? Yeah, and he actually says, like, if you could eliminate the console and... Yeah, so games. it's like the system so and all those games getting don't rid exist. Of it, so it doesn't exist. Yeah. So, yeah. so you go first. What do you think? Well, and, and, and I will I will preface this by saying we talked about it has to be a console that we played enough. Well, yeah, you so, have to be able to judge it. Yeah, you have to be able to judge it. Like, I, I, I didn't play the Sega Master System growing up, so I can't say that system. Not that I would say that is the system, but you know what I mean? Like, it has to be mm-hmm. a system that you've actually played. So Well, you were saying, too, it's one where you've sampled enough of the library to have an idea of yes. what it's all about. And so. I'm going to surprise you on this one here, but I'm going to say the Nintendo 64. I'm going to say if you could get rid of one console, uh, and I know you're choosing that. <laughs> so, so you stole mine. So I okay. stole yours. So over the Genesis and like all the other stuff. Oh, the still Genesis get rid is of, great. Still oh, get rid yeah. Of 64. Okay. okay and, and I'm going to tell you why I think yeah. the Nintendo 64. Okay, so I will say the Nintendo 64 had excellent series that go on to this day. You know, like Mario Party or whatnot. Like those those games those games are still going. Mm-hmm. And I think when I judge the Nintendo sixty four, the, of the library, there are so few games that I think are actually very good. Like we're talking like twenty, thirty, maybe forty. Yeah, I I think there's way less. Yeah, <laughs> like I, I I agree with. But you. like I'm saying, even based on the time when it came out, there's a mm-hmm. lot of sports titles that are garbage and and whatnot. But for me, I think part of a console too, it kind of has to like kind of has to like hold up a little bit yeah and that console does not hold up it's really hard to go back and play it uh, unless you have a lot of nostalgia for it and speaking as a store owner i think a lot of people that purchase n64 games have a lot of nostalgia they want to play mario kart and goldeneye for a little bit and they play it and they realize how bad do, the controller is. Do you think is. they go home and see like how bad it looks on like a new tv and they're like Ugh, oh did i, think, I just i do? think so yeah they're like what did i just do you know? What did I spend all of my money on? Because yeah. those games are all expensive now. So Totally. So anyway, I feel like I'm stealing your thunder here. No, but I, I, I really did think about this. And I was like, of all the consoles I've played, I think that's the one that could be eliminated. And those are my main two reasons. So do you have any other? Or what's your console, Joe? Well, <laughs> no, I'm actually like, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you didn't tell me ahead of time. That's, that's good. Because I, I would have probably done something else. No, but um for me the same thing as you the games definitely don't age well for the most part and i mean it's not the fault of the games it's they went from 2d when the nintendo 64 was coming out i just thought we were going to get like super mario world again but like more levels and the graphics Mm -hmm. were going to look more like arcade graphics kind of thing yeah and then when i saw mario 64 in 3d i'm like okay it's cool it's in 3d but like you can see like the rectangles and triangles and all the polygons so I think they actually did a really good job with what they had at the time. Yes. But once you get to GameCube, Wii, Switch, like the games just get, it's like that, but better. So, and then, then Super Nintendo and, N- and NES are still very playable to this day. Well, those games are, they're timeless, right? Yeah. Just because of the graphical style. Yeah. So it's that for me. And then it's just the lack of like, like replayable games for me. I hated the controller. So, I mean, I think I've said, on our channel before i could not get into mario 64 then i tried it on the switch with a real controller and i yeah. actually enjoyed it yeah. a lot more and finished it um but i there's games i would put ahead of any of their counterparts on the nintendo 64 like the newer zeldas i think are better even paper mario is a great game but the gamecube one's way better mm-hmm. so it's like yeah like i would get rid of that one and of all the stuff i have in this room there's stuff on other systems that's similar but better yeah so yeah and like you said there's lots of crap there too there's lots of sports games there's lots of crappy racing games there's some good racing games but but again the gamecube version or there's something on another system that's like hydro thunder right yeah one of them like yeah but i've got that on the dreamcast yeah exactly right it's it's basically the arcade game well wasn't that that part of the problem too is it's a very small library yeah and like you don't have like so like, you're not getting rid of a lot. Where are the RPGs, right? If you love your RPGs, you've got... There's like four. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, like, that, that's There's a Ogre Battle and Paper Mario. So you're not really appealing to, you know, to a wide crowd, which you need to do when you're selling video games. You want to sell to a variety of people. You don't just want to sell to one subset of a population. Yeah, exactly. So, and I, I you know, it's funny because I, I, I've played mainly Nintendo consoles growing up and whatnot. And I just, when I, when I was thinking about all the consoles I've played, I'm like, that's the one, like... I, I don't, I never, I've really only played a few GameCube games. Yeah. But 
I, those games stand up the few that I've played yeah. and the console stands up and it's like, uh, yeah, I couldn't choose that one. It doesn't well, make sense to me. And that's what I played Mario party on. Like I tried it on the 64, yeah. but I have all the ones for the GameCube. And those are the ones I actually like played with friends. And then like, yeah, like Mario Kart double dash, I think is better than Mario Kart 64. I've actually played yeah. a lot of wind waker. I actually want to go back and finish that game. Like that, like, I think that's better than Ocarina. I know mm-hmm. a lot of people didn't like the cartoon style graphics but i played wind waker I think for an hour and a half yeah i actually like it no and i was like not for I, you I, I got nothing no i just did I, yeah. I wasn't doing it for me i tried i tried anyway, wait, wait, that's I, fair we're, we're talking about zelda in every single video today there you go um <laughs> i think so yeah and then we were going to talk about like unless do you have anything else you want to say about the n64 no because i have nothing good to say so i'm just gonna not say anything <laughs> yeah, this at all this turned into an anti n64 <laughs> video no but and so the other um the other thing we were thinking is like, what is one console and, and their library that we would get rid of not really having played it too mm-hmm. much or, or at all. So what, what's your console? So I went with the Atari Lynx. Cause I literally think there's no, <laughs> there's, there's no games at least I know of that are like, you have to play it and get a Lynx to play it. Yeah. Um, odds are you can probably play it on another system. So I don't think we're, and there's not a lot of games, right? So I don't think, we're missing out by getting rid of the Lynx's library. Yeah, yeah. Keeping everything else. Yeah. So, but I have not experienced the library, but just going by what I know is on there, that's what I would get rid of. And we, we've had like, I think we've had one Lynx at our store in four or five years. And we had to I sell know. it outside, I think, to get rid of it. Didn't we? Or? No, it sold inside. It was big and I, I... Or maybe it was the games we had to get rid of it. The so games, I, yeah. 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 No, we don't, yeah. I remember Frank actually bought the Lynx, if I'm not okay. mistaken. It was like a rich kid console though. It was really yeah. expensive. Oh, for so sure. So that's why no one had one. That's and then right. The games weren't any good. So. And what, what's the, what, what's the the um what we, there's the big one. There's two of them, right? It was the big one we had. It's like it's larger and it's like. Yeah, but it's like this friggin' big, and then the yeah. screen's tiny. Yeah, yeah. And I think it used like eight batteries. I don't know. I'd have to look that up. But it definitely it's like went these companies, batteries. like like especially the Game Gear, like they just they're like, oh, batteries were like an afterthought. I'm like, well, kids are pl- probably playing this in a car. Yeah. Like they're not at home. So battery life is Boy, ar- arguably the most important thing. Oh, for sure. That's why Nintendo you know? was smart and made the Game Boy black and white yeah. and not that powerful. But you could actually like bug your parents for four batteries and play it for like a couple of weeks. Yeah, exactly. And speaking of Nintendo, I chose the Virtual Boy. Uh, having played it for five minutes of my life to test a console, console once. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm going to try You this. had a migraine? <laughs> oh my God. It was the Mario Brothers game. And it was like, like the RG I didn't have one. Yeah. 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 Okay. I didn't have a. Uh, no, I didn't. But I, I. I was like leaning on my table into it, thinking how stupid this is, and just playing it. And like the controller actually feels nice, but yeah, it was just. And I looked. I think I played for five minutes, and after that, I actually was like, I don't want to say dizzy, but I was just like, I can't keep doing this. This is not an enjoyable experience. Well, I can't think how they thought they could market that as a portable system it's not you the, have to like you have to stand, plug it in and then you like you yeah. yeah like who's gonna do that like i think i think there were ads like you're lying on in the grass and you're just like <laughs> just looking at it <laughs> and you're like oh this is so much head. fun right awesome yeah so i i would eliminate that yeah. like from what i understand isn't there a wario game on that system i heard good? the wario game is really good and then there's that jack brothers game by atlas which is like okay. a thousand bucks two thousand bucks complete or something like that yeah so um, we, we can do without those we'll survive well one thing though apparently now if you mod a 3ds someone has created an emulator and you can play the games using the 3d screen oh. and apparently they're very playable like that okay but the, the console with the games as it was released for sure like, yeah yeah you're, you're not losing a lot and where's your mario game you need like a mario game you need yeah like, you need like Mario they didn't go all in on it obviously yeah no so, they're like oh they're like sick. no it was like mario tennis yeah that was like the the killer app which so. isn't terrible but you're trying to sell a game no of course not, system, of course not. right yeah, yeah. so for sure so okay so yeah those are the uh those are the consoles that we would choose what would you choose if you had to get rid of an, a console and its library let us know in the comments down below cheers guys thanks cheers. <laughs> sorry yeah that's it okay well don't smile when you do it like ready one two